Welcome to yet another episode of How To Tuesdays, NAC Training's weekly video tutorials. This week is how to create an Excel template. Now, last week we showed you how to create a theme, but a theme and a template are two slightly different things. If you want to watch the theme video, click the link below. Now, a theme is a reusable set of elements in Excel or any of the other Office programs that holds things like color and font and, and things like that. So all your formatting choices are in your theme. And then you can then apply that theme to any document you want. Now, on the other hand, when we have something that's a template, a template is content and its structure. So it's the basis for a document, and it can also contain formatting. So these are two separate ideas. The template is about the structure of the document, ultimately maybe a little bit of the color and things like that, but mostly the structure and the content of that document. Then afterward, you can apply a theme to that document or to any other document. To create a template, what we do is we start up Microsoft Excel. And basically what you're doing here is you're creating the reusable elements of your document. So if I'm going to create a sales document, for example, that catalogs how much we're selling to each of the different regions, I'll add things like name and date. I'll add things like the regions that we're selling to or the quarters that we're selling those in. I'll also do a little color along the top, along the left-hand side. And I'll also go in and format the cells that are in the middle. What I'm doing by formatting those cells is I'm making the choice that in the future those cells will always be currency formatted. And so I won't have to do that in the future because it'll be part of the template. Additionally, that so far has been content and formatting. We'll also look at how to build structure. Structure has to do with how many of these different tabs are at the bottom of the screen. And so if I name one of the tabs and remove the others, I've made a conscious decision about what that template is like. Now that I've actually created the structure, the content, and the formatting of that template, all that's left is to save the template. So File Save As, I choose the Excel template file format, and what that does is it allows me to reuse this as often as I like. As you can see, it's .xltx format. When I close this, you'll see that I have that icon on my desktop that looks like a pad of paper. That's my Excel template. If I double-click on my Excel template, a new file opens. I can use that file. I can enter information into that file. And when I save it, you see that the difference is that the saved file is just a single sheet of paper. It is the single version of that document rather than the pad of paper of that document. Here's the bottom line. When you create a template, you're creating the basic structure, the contents, and the formatting that are the same from one document to the next, that you're going to reuse over and over again. When you save that, you end up with that uh, icon on the desktop that looks like it's a pad of paper. By using this, you can double-click and create as many copies of that document as you like. It's different from creating a theme because when you create a theme, you can then apply that to any document with any content and any structure. Themes are all about color and font and the aesthetic versions of these things. But the template is mostly about the content and the structure. Thanks for watching. Please use the subscribe button up on top and be wonderful at what you do.